lock picking dev. Today I'm at the Trail of Ten Falls in Oregon. We're at the lower South Falls now. I have a master model number 140. Surprisingly, I have not got one of these on camera yet. So we're gonna see if we can pick this real quick. All right, going in. One's binding immediately, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that. It'll let me. There we go. Got pin one. Going in the back. So loud. Like pin three. There we go. Pin four. That 10 4 was a spool, but let's go around to make sure. Yeah, pretty sure we overset it. Alright, we let it back down. Not that pin. There we go. Pin three. Pin five. Pin two. That looks like we got a spool on pin two. Here, that, or we got a nice big set there. It's not open yet. Pull in the back, double check everything. That is not a pin, that is the core. Uh, pin three, there we go. And there's our open. There we are. So that is a master number 140. Uh, not guttable. I don't see a pin on the side. Uh, there's one right there. Well, actually, maybe I'll get home and drill this out and see what's inside. Because I don't have a key to this thing. And, uh, this is the... Lower South Falls at the Trail Tin Falls in Oregon. Let's see if we can get it there. There we go. Let's take you for a walk around there real quick. I'm gonna actually walk behind you. This is where it gets pretty loud, if you haven't noticed in the other videos. Yeah, the falls get nice and loud. And come up behind them here. And here we are, walking up behind. See, they are flowing. See if we can look down. There we are. The trail just keeps going around. But again, this is the second view. This is the 
lower south fall at the Trailton Falls in Oregon. All right, we're back home. I got this 140 gutted finally. Honestly, this thing, you guys, this thing's a pain in the butt to gut because for one, I didn't see the, all the pins right here. They were really hard to see. I had to take a uh, um, the something and a hammer and just hit along to see what would start indenting there to see where the pins were. And after that, I, I bricked it actually. I, one of the driver pins I think fell in this uh, core retaining groove right here. And man, it took me a couple hours, but I finally got it out and, and here we are. You can see that the pins inside are actually really well, are really good. So we have a spool, 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 and a lightly serrated pin right there. These are all the original pins that were on the inside. And here are the top pins. I had to replace these two spools right here um, because when I bricked it, I was pulling on it so hard, I actually warped these pins a little bit. But you can see that it is full of security pins. And again, yeah, we have our core retaining groove right here, which I need a, made another bolt and cut another um, a hole in that bolt right there. That way I can fit a flathead screwdriver in it. I just used a saw and did that. And then with our uh, with how it the actuator works, so we have these two nubs right there. This the core right here. See the two nubs. You stick it in. Turn it slightly to the side so it fits around them, and then it rests on the two nubs like that. And then when you turn the core, I'll turn the left nub up, the right nub down. So you can give a look at it again. See that left nub when we turn the core, it'll uh, go up, and that right nub will go down, and that'll pop our shackle. Let's show you that real quick. There we go. And again, this was the Master 140. Um, if you do gut this and you decide to take the Endeavor, just be very careful not to brick it and be very, very mindful of that um, that core retaining hole in the back right here. This hole right here, because you don't want to brick it. So uh, an option would be is if you get this pin out first, this the fifth pin right here. Uh, if you get that out first, keep turning the core all the way until the Bible lines up right there, that way you can pull it out. Otherwise, this was the Master 140. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.